Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Immediately you'll see this here. This is the, the Frontier X2 app. I've got the Frontier X2 monitor around my chest now. You just see it there. And I am going to show you something really cool because for me this is the one of my favorite most parts about this monitor. Go to the app here. We have an ECG section and we can go live ECG. So you can start streaming ECG. You can share a link with someone if you want as a little share button. But I'm just gonna start this off here. Just for this video, turn it around like that. You can see it there. You can also see it here, look. It's popping along, that is my heart rate. So that's the readings it's given at the moment. Heart rate 84 beats per minute. I'm gonna leave it down there. And throughout this video, it's gonna pop up every now and again. And you see my heart rate. I'm not having any palpitations today. Not that I can feel anyway. That's one of the reasons I bought this thing. In fact, just before, just before we start, I just want to show you, because I'm going to move this monitor. You should see the reading change. I'm just moving it now. I'm trying to move it away from my chest. There we go. Slightly changing a little bit. But the sensors are right at the end here, so if I move these sensors here. There you go, it's off. Flat line. Okay, just to, just to show you, and it should start kicking in again now. Okay. Yeah. So now, normal rhythm just resumed. Right, let's get into it. So the Frontier X2 heart monitor allows you to track your heart health in real time. It's the first and only heart monitor that can record your ECG, heart rate, breathing rate, strain, cadence and body shock. Now the retail price for the X2 is 429. I've even seen it as low as 299 for a while. So it comes in a well presented box with the heart monitor sitting on top. It's a small device weighing only 25 grams. Accessories you get with it, you get a micro USB cable for charging and you get two straps, a blue and a black one. Throughout my use, I've just been using the blue one. Now the device has an LCD display and in all honesty, I never really need to look at it, but it does briefly shows uh, like metrics from your workouts, which you can display by pressing the blue button on the device. Now the device is also waterproof up to 1.5 meters and has a Bluetooth 5 connectivity. And you can pair the monitor to a smartphone and using the app, which I have done here. Now the battery life is very, very good. And I think that helps with the fact that the LCD display really is probably only on for a couple of seconds and then just sort of turns off. The device doesn't actually turn off. You can't turn it off. It just goes into a, a deep sleep. Just have to press the button once just to wake it up. I mean, you'd easily get a week's use out of it of normal use. For me personally, I probably used it only once a week when I play football. Uh, so it lasted me for, for a good few weeks before I had to recharge it again. So fitting the monitor is really easy. The strap and the device use a dry electrode system without wires, and the monitor just simply clips onto the strap. Underneath the strap, there is a black rubber strip. Inside there are advanced sensors. They do recommend wetting the strap, the chest where it's gonna be making contact. It's supposed to give better readings, but that's not something I actually did. To be fair, when putting the strap on, I'd always forget about applying water. Now I do have a slight sort of dip in my chest. Uh, I'm not gonna flash it up and show you now. But one of my main concerns is that maybe the monitor is not gonna read properly, but on the outer side here, on the inside, is where sort of the main sensors are. So the really the sensors are, are, are around my sort of rib cage here, where there's no dip. So if you have got that in your chest, I think it's quite a common thing to be fair. No chests are all the same and sort of flat and that. There is a slight little dip. Um, that doesn't affect the readings whatsoever. So the device is compatible with some Garmin watches, I believe, so you can connect it to a smartwatch uh, and use it through that way if you wish. I personally don't have a smartwatch. I've just used it directly from the smartphone and the, uh, the monitor itself. All right, so what we've got here at the moment. So we are at 88 beats per minute. See, typical 60 to 80 BPM, so sort of 60 to 100. Um, that's looking good. Now this is, is brilliant. Like I said before, let's come out of this. If I just swipe like that, here we go. So share link. If you click the little share button there, there is copy URL. And once you copy that URL, you can then send it to whoever. They click it and they can see your live ECG. So you can send it to a doctor or a friend or whatever. Uh, that is really, really powerful. I love that. I mean, if we get back into 
But if we just show you at the top here, look, you've got battery percentages there at the top right. Disconnect if you want to, and you can sync as well from the monitor to the app. That is the main menu. You've got a use manual there as well. You want to go to, want to, go to home. This is where all the magic happens. Very, very powerful. I mean, if we scroll down, you get recommendations. So try to do sports, about 95 minutes. Now to actually start a workout, you hit activity at the bottom here and there's plenty to choose from. So from the top, you've got run, cycle, walk, which is quite a common thing really. Uh, indoor cycling, strength, aerobics. Uh, there's also a rest one there as well at the bottom and you can monitor your sleep, which I did a few times. Set it to rest like that. And then you can just click start activity and then it vibrates. And then we're gonna start activity Heart rate 78%. Now from this point, you cannot go into say ECG and have a look there because it says, please stop recording before doing so. So you can just do this on its own. If we wait a few seconds for this to populate some stuff. There we go. So breathing rate is now populated 15 breaths per minute and heart strain uh, is well is negative at the moment, which is good. And heart rate variable is 20. In terms of cadence and stuff, I'm not running around or anything but that will populate once you um you start doing some running or cycling whatever it is you're doing what you can do as well you can stop it from here as well if you double click the device there we go and you can also start it as well from here as well you don't need to touch the app just double click the button and it will start recording an activity and then it goes to your history and it's just syncing with the device at the moment and here we go it dates it and everything no ecg available at the moment that's just gathering the information at the moment it will populate there uh, but if i scroll down to um one of my heavy workouts okay so you can see this workout here uh training load you, you gain points as well this is 398 points and you can build points over the week and so you can hit your targets and stuff um, but the top there we have a uh, you can view the ecg from there so it's detected normal rhythm and then other rhythm as well um, so if you do have concerns and stuff like that, obviously don't take this um, as sort of gospel and stuff. Do obviously seek professional help. These readings might help them, but obviously this is just to indicate something might be wrong. Uh, so then you can approach a professional in that, in that case. And then down here, look, it gives you heart rate, breathing rate, uh, heart rate variable, step cadence, body shock, and heart strain there as well. At the bottom here, I, because I use a, a phone, and the heart monitor. My phone is kept in one place really. Um, obviously I'll, I'll, I'll walk around some of the area when I'm playing football, but actually when I'm in activity on football, it's just the heart monitor. So there's no sort of GPS tracking really. If you had your smartwatch on with GPS on, then that would track that for you. But for me, I never really made use of the GPS tracking. Uh, insights as well at the bottom. This is a moderate intensity activity. Your average breathing rate was 36. These, are, these workouts will get you accustomed to exercising at race pace or race events between one to two hours along. Uh, they're great, those little insights um, on your workout. Uh, if you click graphs as well there, let me spin it around. So that's your heart rate. Uh, so it did get quite high. You can sort of get your finger and drag along. What was the highest point? Like 181, I think 184 as well. 181 and that's quite responsive as well that really is. glides through then strain heart strain was good it's just sort of in the blue areas a lot of the time heart rate variable breathing rate got a little bit high there uh, body shock cadence and there you go useful information that you can use and then you can click view ecg as well so there is the ECG and you can tap on some of the graphs here. So for a moment there, when you click that, it will change the ECG at the top lot. You can see uh, the rhythm. If you click it there, it will change to there as well. And basically all the graphs that I showed you just like that basically. Now me personally, I preferred looking at all this on a PC. You can log in with your account because you do set up an account uh, when you do set this up. Uh, there's a community tab here as well, but my name's Geeky Stuff. A much better viewing uh, experience in my opinion. You can view your ECG as well, just like you can here. I personally, I just prefer the bigger screen. And then in the settings here, look, 
it's got your profile, device information, you can upgrade the firmware. There's been a couple of updates as well on this device uh, when I've been using it. So there are updates and you're constantly trying to improve things with the heart monitor. And look, integrations, you can Garmin Connect, Google Fit, you can connect as well. You can change the unit of measures. Um, but yeah, and then lastly, you can edit alerts. So if we go to alerts here, uh, you can set, uh, so sort of like heart rate. If your heart rate goes, I know, <laughs> above 200, you shouldn't really be hitting 200, I don't think, uh, then it will set off a buzz. You'll get a double buzz if your heart rate is above 200. So you can sort of keep in line to where you want to sort of be on your training session. Uh, and then for the single buzz as well, you can set something different. So yeah, like heart strain or something. If your heart strain goes to 0 0.17 or whatever, you can set it to upper limit or lower limit as well. It will then give you a, a little buzz as well. When I was working out, um, I never set any of these alerts. So I just kept them as default, but a couple of times it did a double buzz because my breathing rate was quite high. Um, I'm not the fittest of people. <laughs> this has definitely helped me have peace of mind because uh, I do suffer with health anxiety. I did sort of put off working out or going football because I was worried about my heart for no reason at all, really. Just the fact that it might just stop or blow up when I'm working out. Ugh. But this has helped no end. Me personally, this is just from a sort of a mental health angle instead of just purely fitness. This is quite a unique heart monitor with that live ECG is incredible. Uh, but I do have a coupon, like a code. It's FFPaul. So if you put the FF Paul in at checkout on their website, you get 25% off. Uh, make sure you do that. I'll include links to this in the description as well. Um, I'm going to stop this. Stop that recording. I'm going to take that thing off. Because it's an adjustable strap as well. It's quite comfortable to be fair. And yeah, there it is. There it is, guys. The Frontier X2 heart monitor. Thank you all very much for watching. If you do have any questions, then pop them down below. I'll answer them as best as I can. Check all the links out as well. If this video has been useful, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye bye.